Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to make H bridge circuit using transistor. As you can see, we have four transistor and we are providing zero zero signal, so the motor is not running. If we provide one zero, it is running clockwise. If we provide zero one, it is running anti-clockwise. And if we make it 1 1, then again motor is not running. So, this is how HB circuit works. So, today we will see the working of this circuit. So, let's get started. This video is second part on H bridge. In the first part, I already explained the basic working of H bridge circuit using switch. In the third part, I will explain the IC L293D and in the fourth part, I will explain how to use L293D IC with Arduino. All the link of the video is given in the description below. Now come back to this video that is second part. This is a DC motor. The direction of the rotation is depends on the polarity of the connection. First, I am connecting positive with this pin and with this negative. It is rotating anti-clockwise. Now positive in this pin and negative. Now it is rotating clockwise. So, in each bridge circuit, we are going to do this. This is H. Here we will connect a motor. One pin of the motor will be connected to here and another pin to here. This is pin A and pin B. Now what we will do is, we will connect this both. After this, here we will connect the positive and here ground. As I have connected 5 volt motor, so I have provided plus 5 volt. Now we have to connect transistor. We need 4 transistor 1, 2, 3 and 4. These 2 transistors should be PNP transistor and these 2 transistors should be NPN transistor. You can use any PNP or NPN transistor. I am using BD140 as PNP transistor and BD139 as NPN transistor. Now with the base of the transistor, we are going to connect a resistor. I am connecting 1 kilo ohms resistor. After this, we have to connect this both pin and in this point, we have to provide the signal. We will get the signal from digital IC or any other microcontroller. We can provide either 1 or 0. Here also 1 or 0. Whenever we have to provide 0, then we have to connect this pin to the ground and whenever we need to provide 1, then we have to connect this pin to 5 volt. Now let's discuss a basic thing. This is PNP transistor and this is NPN transistor. 0 means 0 volt and 1 means 5 volt or positive. So whenever we provide 0 to base of the PNP transistor, then this PNP transistor will work as a closed circuit. The current will flow from emitter to collector. And if we provide 1 to the PNP transistor, so now this will work as a open circuit. Now in this time, no current will flow from emitter to collector. And in the case of NPN transistor, whenever we provide 1 to the base of NPN transistor, then this will work as a closed circuit. If we connect 0 to base of NPN transistor, now this will work as a open circuit. No current will flow from collector to emitter. If we provide 1, then it will work as open circuit. And if we provide 0 to the base of the transistor, then it will work as a closed circuit. For NPN transistor, it is opposite. If we provide 1 to the base of the transistor, then it will work as a closed circuit. And if we provide 0, then it will work as a open circuit. Now come to this. 
I'll provide 0 in this point and 0. This is PNP transistor. So now this will work as a closed circuit and this is NPN transistor. So it will work as a open circuit. Here also 0. So it will work as a closed circuit and this will work as a open circuit. So what will happen is it will be like this. The ground is disconnected from the motor. So now no current will flow through the motor. If we provide 0, 0, then the motor will not run. Again come to the circuit. We will provide 1 in this side and 0 in this side. We are providing 1 means for the PNP transistor it will work as a open circuit and it will work as a closed circuit. Current will flow. And in this side the NPN transistor will work as open circuit and for PNP transistor it will work as closed circuit. Now current will flow. So our circuit will be like this. At this time you see the current will flow from here in this direction. The arrow is here so current will flow like this from pin B to pin A and like this here the arrow direction and to the ground. So in this time current is flowing from plus 5 volt to ground through the motor from pin B to pin A and motor will run let's say like this. Okay. You can say that if we provide 1 and 0 signal then the motor will run anticlockwise. Now what we will do is we will provide 0 in this side and 1 in this side. Whenever we provide 0 then PNP transistor will work as closed circuit and NPN transistor will work as open circuit. Here it is 1 means now NPN transistor will work as closed circuit and PNP transistor will work as a open circuit. So our circuit will be like this. Now current is flowing from follow the arrow mark from this here it is like this from pin A to B and to the ground. Now current is flowing from plus 5 volt to ground through pin A to B. Let's say now motor is running in this direction. Before it was from point B to A, now it is point A to B. So this is how we can control the motor using transistor. Now see what will happen if we provide 1 in this side and 1, 1, 1. If we provide 1, then PNP transistor will work as open circuit and NPN transistor will work as a closed circuit. So our circuit will be like this. Now the positive supply is disconnected from the motor. So at this time also no current will flow through the motor. So this is the circuit. So this is how we can make H bridge circuit using transistor. Now let's see the pin diagram of the transistor. This is BD139, it is NPN transistor. This is base, collector and emitter. For PNP transistor it is BD140. The third pin is base, the middle is collector and the emitter. Now we will see this circuit on breadboard. One request, please consider to subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. BD140. This pin is base, collector, emitter base collector emitter bd139 base collector emitter base collector emitter 1 kilo ohms resistor is connected to the base connecting the base resistor here we will apply the logic or signal emitter of pnp transistor is connected to the plus 5 volt emitter of npn transistor is connected to the ground now connect both the collector that is the middle pin here we have to connect the motor one pin is connected to here another.
So the motor pin is connected to the collector of the transistor. So here we will provide signals. Connecting the power supply. Here it is negative and positive. Now both the signal pin is connected to the negative rail. It means we are providing 0, 0 signal. If I make this one. Now motor is running at clockwise direction. Now I will make it 0, 1. Now it is running anti-clockwise. Now if I make this signal 1, 1. Again you can see motor is not running. So this is how we can make H bridge circuit using transistor. So guys this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so then please like share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video I will show you another topic. Till then stay happy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.